Privilege and a you know, a privilege and a blessing for me to be here today. The uh, information that is on 528 is extraordinary. That warm, fuzzy feeling that you have in your heart when you're in love has an intimate connection, not only to love and 528 sound of love, but what's happening in Egypt today. There's an extraordinary revolution taking place right now that has a lot to do with what we're going to be talking about briefly to summarize the book of 528. And that is love, the essence of it, freedom, peace, having sustainability, having the freedom for prospering in all ways. That kind of freedom is a heartfelt drive, a desire, a motivation in each of us. And in fact, that is really what our source, our creator has in mind, intended for us. And as everything is shifting, not only the geopolitics and the economics, but also this whole concept of the cosmic alignment, things that are moving into place, not only in our own lives, but also in the entire universe. And so that's what the book of 5 to 8 is really all about. It demystifies what love is. It demystifies what it is that we are doing here. It will change your life in the most beneficial way because, for example, you'll never look at a blade of grass or nature the same way again. You'll see it as a reflection of love. To begin this, and introduce this topic, I began to investigate 528 by a divine revelation that was given to a Dr. Joseph Paleo back in 1997, along with the original musical scale, the original solfeggio. It was six notes by which the hymn to St. John the Baptist was sung that was known as the most spiritually uplifting hymn of all the ages. And the third note of that scale was miracle note, 528. So it was ut re mi fa so la, and the third note, mi, miragistorum in Latin, means miracles in English. So from that moment on, I began to think of 528 as something very special, but I had no clue whatsoever what it really was. I had no, no knowledge whatsoever about it being a love frequency, nor did I have any concept that it was the prophesied key to the house of David. In the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, 22:22, and in book of Revelation 3, 6 through 8, it talks in the end times about an angel from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, coming and heralding a miraculous key that opened doors that no man can close and closed doors that no man can open. I had no knowledge whatsoever that that was 528. And now we have substantive evidence, massive amounts of evidence that that is what 528 is. And the doors that are opening are those doors that are happening in the activists and the people in the street of Egypt. It are the doors to people's hearts. It is the doors to love. It is the doors to faith and joy that is inherent and it's our destiny to fulfill that level of freedom, freedom of expression, that we can't have because ultimately what has happened with this planet is that we are in dissonance to another note, another frequency. It turned out that when we discovered the original musical scale, there was not just six, but a total of nine core creative frequencies to the universe. That is, everything in the universe is made from nine notes, only nine. And that the first six are the sofeggio, and then there's three additional ones that form a perfect circle of sound. And that perfect circle of sound looks something like this. If you graph it. So the first six notes, 396, 417, 528, 639, 741, 852, was the original solfeggio scale. The 528 that you can see on my left in green is the color green. It's the heart of the rainbow. That's the miracle note from the original solfeggio note, from the original solfeggio scale. And the other note that you see, 741, 
which is part of nature, is called the devil's interval in musicology. That when you play 741 with 528, it creates such an annoying and dissonant energy, diseasing, stressful, that if you continue to listen to it, you could die. And so that the concept here is interesting. In the world today, we have people who are controlling virtually everything economically, geopolitically. Their agenda has been population manipulation, population control for millennia. They have held the secret knowledge, the ancient music, by which the pyramids were constructed based on the math. All of the universe is constructed according to these nine tones. They knew about them. And in fact, they instituted In fact, it was the Rockefeller Foundation in 1939 that instituted the world's standard tuning. The Western world tunes to A440 hertz frequency. That when you tune your instrument to that, the F sharp note is 741. Precisely. Not 7.1. 41.1 or 0.2, it's 741, which meant that there was a clear scientifically researched intent, and indeed that's exactly what happened. The 741 A440 link came out of military research in the 1930s to induce psychosocial stress and dis-ease to the max. It was selected that A440 would be the standard tuning for the Western world. In fact, quote, mass hysteria, end quote, could be induced by instituting that frequency. And now you begin to explain why you went from the era of Frank Sinatra, where women would mostly swoon over Frank. Suddenly, Elvis Presley rioting began. It was scientifically determined for military acoustic warfare research that if you simply used a440 standard tuning that you could engage about 6% of the population perhaps to actually go into this kind of crisis, into this hysteria. And that those people then, especially if they were televised and they were promoted and broadcast, could potentially affect a social, virtually British invasion. Now you begin to reconcile what happened. This information is all in the book of 528. The outcome of which is we need to make a choice, and that's where the most important issue of the book deals. It deals with our choice. We have a choice to be in harmony, or we have a choice to remain in dissonance. What's happened in Egypt now is an indication that we, the people, are desiring to call the emperor with no clothes nude, and that the claim that the parade should stop because the emperor's got no clothes. Instead of the media continuing to make the parade keep marching, it was the people, in, starting with one activist on a computer, who got out there to make a difference and ultimately created a revolution. This is the 528 love revolution. What's happening is that the doors to people's hearts are opening in the hearts, that your heart center, your heart chakra, if you will, which spins in greenish yellow. That's the color of grass in the botanical world. That color of grass is that color because of 528. In fact, you would not have 5,280 feet in a measured mile if it wasn't for 528. You wouldn't have circles, you wouldn't have squares, you wouldn't have any sacred geometry. You wouldn't have pyramids. The pyramids are int intimately constructed based on the mathematics of pi, phi. You wouldn't have pi or phi without five to eight. In other words, you wouldn't have anything without love. You would have nothing. The universe would not exist. Five to eight, in essence, takes you from the heart of your heart through the heart of the rainbow, which is greenish yellow, to as above, so below as it is in your own DNA, in chlorophyll, expressing the bounty and the glory of love throughout the botanical world, so it is in the Creator's heart. 
So we have a choice that we can remain in dissonance or we could literally vibe to a new song. That's the fulfillment of the book of Revelation 14.1, where 144,000 people who hear this message, that they feel it in their hearts, and they make a choice to sing in a new key, the key of love. You reconcile from that Jesus' entire ministry. Jesus, a devout Jew, Mosaic scholar, a rabbi, absolutely said that you can distill everything to two things, love of the creator and love for each other as brothers and sisters. And that requires us to get a new look at ourselves, to get over the traumas and the abuses and all of the issues of self-hate, all the little images that we've taken on from the mass mind-controlling media that we compare ourselves with models tens when we perceive ourselves to be twos and threes. And from that, we have a distorted image of ourselves. And from that, a block happens. We no longer love ourselves. Our hearts, the energy from our hearts, literally degenerate. We become a shell of the person, the spirit-filled, loving, capable, worthy human being that we were intended to be. That's how the manipulation and control has happened. We have a choice about that. We can say yes, indeed, now based on this evidence that yes, that's part of nature, part of God's plan. But if you think about it, your own life, you never grew, you never learned the easy way, did you? You always learned primarily by pain or trauma. Lessons learned the hard way streets of hard knocks. That's what gave us the best lessons, the most enduring choice-making lessons. That's what we're talking about here. The question is, are we fed up enough with self-loathing? Are we fed up enough of being manipulated, mind-controlled into ignorance, dissonance, division, dividing men from women, black from white, gay from straight, Jew from Gentile, Christian from Muslim, right to left, Democrat from Republican. That's the name of the dissonant game, divide and conquer. We have a choice to make. Do we want that to continue, or are we going to look to Egypt and the great people of Egypt who have spoken, and they have decreed they're making a different choice, they're going to sing a new song? Right now, as we're recording this, the people in Egypt are having musical celebrations in their square. Musical celebrations. Music is the universal language. This whole concept of love, the universal healer, is what the book of 528 is all about. The beauty of this is, is that more and more of us play music in the key of love. It's like a pebble in a pond. You throw a pebble in a pond and the waves flow out in circle array to the farthest shores. The universe is made of water. Not only does the Bible say that, but NASA science proved that about 10 years ago when they discovered water throughout space. That means when you play 528 or sing even better in 528, that energy flows virtually universally, certainly across the planet affecting as a miracle frequency the hearts of humanity so that the heart chakras are open and beginning to spin. And as we spin this in terms of the eliminating the dissonance and regenerating the harmony, what's going to happen is exactly what's happening globally as it is in Egypt. And so that's really what the book of 528 is. It's a slam dunk on the science and the mathematics of love. You'll recognize after reading this book that there's not only the scientific proof, and it's very interesting for, you know, left brain, rational, Harvard graduates like myself to kind of like consider what, you know, what is this? Is this for real or is this some scam? And then when you see and you are faced with the realities, such as the chlorophyll molecule, 
resonates in love. That's why it's like matches the heart of the rainbow, which is greenish yellow, which is 528 hertz frequency, which is exactly like the tone that's coming from the sun as measured by NASA science. You begin to realize that if you want to satisfy your left brain and your ego, you can do that with the book of 528. But that's really not where the action is. The action is in your heart mind, not your ego mind. And so the beauty of the revelations in the book of 528 is that we can literally accept that evil and poor choice making is a part of nature, is a part of human development and even evolution of the species and involved in survival of the fittest for sure, but you know what? It's secondary to the sustaining miraculous power of love and that's in your heart.